next subcategory, control side of supply chain risk management, IDSC2, suppliers and third-party partners of information systems, components, and services are identified, prioritized, and assessed using a cyber supply chain risk management process. So starting at the beginning, do you even know who your suppliers are? If you don't know, go do that now before even moving on anywhere else. We need to have some type of a list of who our suppliers are. We need to categorize what they have access to, what type of services are they providing, and let's now prioritize what those vendors and those suppliers are doing. We've got a number of things that we need to be able to first do. Obviously, identify who those vendors are. We then need to be able to establish what those services are that they are providing. And then we need to prioritize what those services are to the organization. You need to then be able to determine what's the criticality of those services and use that to then start assessing your supply chain. You might look at what you have in front of you and say, this is just too much to be able to start with. I assure you, if you just take it in chapters, chunk it down, this is a very straightforward process to be able to begin with and get through. But you can't look at it as a whole. You need to start with, again, I can't defend anything that I don't know exists, it applies to your suppliers. I need to be able to protect myself, not only from my suppliers, but my suppliers' accesses and to my organization, whether it's data or intellectual property uh, or, or infrastructure, whatever that is. We need to identify what they are. We need to identify the services and then prioritize those services. Only then can you begin assessing what those services are doing and what those suppliers are doing for those services for you within the organization. One question you're asking is, what does a supply chain risk assessment process look like? Well, I traditionally like to have an idea of the types of suppliers that I have and what level of access do they have to my organization? And then how critical is that access or that um, supplier to my organization? Once we've established those components and we can plot all those things. So obviously we've identified all the suppliers, number one. And once we've identified them, we can now establish what their priority is to us. Is it a financial impact? Is it the capability that they deliver to our organization? Whatever that is, some type of priority needs to be established. And then from there, we can establish what the access levels are. Are we talking about zip code data, right? Or are we talking about some of our most uh, impactful, our most important intellectual property? As you start plotting these vendors out into some type of a system like this, you can then start determining what does the actual assessment process look like. Because as you look at an entire supply chain, there's no way if you have hundreds of vendors that you're going to be able to assess them all. It's just not probable. It's not. Po it's it's definitely possible, but it's just not cost effective. So what you want to do is. Those that have a high importance to your organization um, and those that have a high level of access to your organization, you could be plotting in this upper quadrant here and be probably assessing them the most and then work your way out. So I like to then take different structures to this, right? And it's pretty straightforward. So your vendors that are now in the second group and your vendors that are in this third group are going to see a little differently a uh, level of assessment than the groups that are the most critical to you. Whatever your system is, you need something that you can follow through after you've identified what they do, who they are, the level of accesses, and the priority to your organization. Start with this, and then from here, you can then determine what you want to do with those vendors. If you are giving you know, full NIST assessments to the vendors in this space, and you have a criteria that they meet an X amount of controls, or you want to see certain controls in place based on what they do for you, have at it. If you want to just ask for an attestation to, um, you know, basic security controls, or look for some type of documentation that's a less of an impact to your less important, less, um, you know, uh, administrative or authorized vendors, um, then you do. Now you have a program that is actually scalable to 
what you have to do against or for your suppliers for the security of your organization.